Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Good morning, Connecticut. There is a great need at the Connecticut Diaper Bank. Not only are diapers expensive, they can also lead to maternal depression, too. So here to talk about all of this is Janet Stolfi Alfano, the executive director at the Diaper Bank here in Connecticut. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. So this is also Diaper Awareness Week, Diaper Need Awareness Week. Correct. Uh, why is it so important that we talk about this issue here in the state? Yeah. So thank you. It's really great that you had me on during Diaper Need Awareness Week. Um, the issue of diaper need is often one that folks um, overlook or don't think about on the day, daily basis. If you don't have a young child, you might not be aware of how expensive these things are and how difficult it is for families who are low income to be able to afford them and what a significant impact it can have on the health and well-being of children and their families. Yeah, what do you mean by the health and, and well-being on the sure. entire family? Sure. So first off, you know, the health and well-being of the children uh, certainly is one that you can think about. Everyone has heard about diaper rash and what not changing a diapers or a child's diaper frequently or the way that you're supposed to can have that impact on a child. And that left untreated um, can have really even more significant health impacts for the child. But one thing that folks really didn't know about, and even to an extent we didn't as well, there was a study in 2013 in the Journal of Pediatrics by a researcher at the Yale Moms Partnership, Dr. Megan Smith, along with several colleagues. And what they found was this correlation between maternal depression and diaper need, that it was really a significant um, correlation in that not having a lack of access to diapers for your child. If you can imagine, you know, you have a young baby, you're trying to bond and do all the things that are developmentally appropriate for the child. And if you can't meet this very basic need, you know that it's going to not be helpful in the way in which you parent your child. And so it can really have an impact on your own self-esteem and your own issues of depression. Now, is it something that they found that mothers, if they already kind of uh, have a struggle, if they already struggle with depression, if it can lead to that, or that this can open up a whole new medical condition for them? So um, there wasn't a definitive uh, answer on that, and it was really, it wasn't causation, it was a correlation. But we know, if you think about what kind of a stressor this is. This is a recurring thing. You're going to have to change your child's diaper every few hours for over three years. It's something that, as a parent, if you know that this is a struggle for you to meet, um, you're, it's just going to be repetitive and you're going to be faced with it over and over again. So it's something that is certainly going to be at the forefront of your mind um, and it's going to be a stressor for sure. you. Something I can definitely sympathize with with mothers because I'm, you know, knee deep in <laughs> diapers right now. Um, and I know the diaper bank, if you would like to donate, they need bigger sizes, right? Is that something that you're, you've been seeing? Absolutely. So we are always in need of the larger sizes, sizes four, five, and six. Um, and we can certainly um, help you do a diaper drive, which is a great way to support us. We have a lot of information on our website. That's the best way to reach out if you want to do something more. It's www.thediaperbank.org. There are a number of different ways. We are really now um, just instituting a new campaign called Change from the Bottom Up, and we really want folks to have a greater understanding about this issue and also really help us in the way that they can in their own community, and that is the best way to do it, is help us by joining our campaign. Well, Janet, thank you so much for stopping by this morning. I think this is a really important issue, and I'm so glad that we were able to highlight it this morning. Thank you so much. Of course.